Yeah. What's your definition of success? I don't trust the thoughts that come inside my head. I bet you're like, where is Renzo going? Well, you're about to find out in the next clip. So stay tuned. Not tunes like iTunes, like stay tuned to wait. <laughs> I push away the people that I love the most. Why? I don't want no one to know I'm vulnerable. Why? That makes me feel weak and so uncomfortable. Why? Today, I came to a surgeon place. So what does that mean? I'm waiting for you guys to tell me what you think it means. You're not gonna tell me? Then I'll say it! <laughs> Two days ago, my doctor called me and he told me that he made an appointment to go see a surgeon so that way we can see what's wrong with me, you know, with the pain I've been feeling for the longest time. So today's the day, and today is June 20th. I have to be here by 10.15, and it's currently 10.05, so perfect timing. Now, I'm not sure if I'm able to record there, but like I always do, I'll sneak in the camera. Well, not sneak it in because they see it, but I'll still record, and they never asked me or never wondered if it's recording, so we're good. I'm pretty sure I'm, I won't get like the best angles, but as long as you guys can hear what he's going to tell me, that's all that matters. So wish me good luck, I mean, <laughs> wish me good luck, and hopefully we will find out what's going on with me. Mm. I think that's what I'm seeing, Klein Johnson Jr. Second floor. That means elevator. Thank you. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm doing good. How about you? All right. Dr. Johnson. Nice good. to meet you. Nice to meet you, yeah. sir. It's Mr. Boxy. He's one of our medical students working with us. All right. So what's what's going on with you these days? About two years ago, I had a stress fracture on my femur. Yeah. And it went away. Yeah. But I started feeling some problems around this area. And Dr. Jose Reyes, he told me that maybe I could have a hernia. Yeah. So we did like two MRIs around my hip area and they came out fine. He said there's mm -hmm. nothing. So he gave me some um, some shots, some injections that can help, but it just made it worse. Every time when I left heavier, it, I feel it right here. He laid me down and he put pressure right here and it hurt a lot. Does it hurt or burn when you pass your water? No. No, uh, any problems with the, with your bowels, blood in the stool, diarrhea, anything like that? No. Does it hurt like sort of right where the pubic bone is? Yes, there? Okay. yes. Is it worse on one side or the other or both the same? Both the same. Okay. And you're not seeing any swelling or anything that goes down into the scrotum or anything mm -hmm. like that? All right. Stretch out, let me take a listen to you. No back problems, right? No. Okay. What type of exercise seems to aggravate it that you can tell? Dumbbell curls. It starts shooting right here, so I have to like lift a little bit lighter. Okay. Is it more right at the start or towards the end? Like towards the end, yeah. Okay, now stand down for four. Down in here, there's nothing, right? That part there doesn't hurt, that's not sore? No. Okay, how about on the right side? Is that part there hurt at all? No. Okay, now turn your head and give me a good hard cough. <coughs> Is that part sore? No. Okay, cough big for me. <coughs> okay, I see your tummy again. Up, up here, this part here's not sore, right? No. That there? No. Mm -hmm. Here? It seems worse on the left. I'm wondering if you don't have some kind of tear or strain or something like that. I mean, the MRI, it didn't show any inflammation no, in the muscle or anything like that. You never seen any swelling or bruising down there? Nothing like that. Yeah. So we did it twice just to make sure. Yeah. And nothing. How far apart were they? The MRI? Uh, a month. I tried twice the other day. I felt a lot of pain right here. I mean, that's, I mean the, the groin, I think, feels strong. I don't feel any evidence of a hernia. I don't feel any thing abnormal in your testicles. Sometimes if you get, uh, you can get an infection in the sperm ducts and the, the stuff that supplies the sperm ducts comes from up higher here and goes down into your testicles, right? So I would think sometimes you might have a little pain from that up a little bit higher that might give you some tenderness, but your testicles feel normal, to, you know, normal texture and they're not tender or anything. So I don't think that's it. I, I would say based on your descriptions, it's some kind of muscle tear or strain. Uh, probably the best thing you could do is I would lay off of that that particular exercise if you notice it hurts it I would sort of avoid it for probably about a month okay I would uh, you know probably take an anti-inflammatory to go along with it and that will help some with the pain and swelling 
And uh, I think you just got to let those muscles rest and heal. Because the problem with it is, even just normal everyday stuff, you put stress on it, you sort of re-injure it. It doesn't have a chance to heal. I, I think, you know, if you could take off a couple weeks and not do anything, it would probably be the best thing for you with the running and, and all the weights and stuff. Just give yourself a, a good long break. Let that stuff heal, let the inflammation settle down, and then try to, you know, ease back into it. So I, I think the problem with it is you're just, you keep re-injuring it, and then it's, it's, it's really never going to settle down. It can be frustrating. you got to give yourself time to heal or it's not going to settle down and heal itself. I'd rather be out just for a little bit than forever. Yeah. So I would say give yourself a two weeks, basically nothing. When you start back, start with exercises that don't aggravate it. Two weeks, nothing. Okay? I know you guys heard every single thing he said. It felt very weird when I had to pull down my jogger so that way he can check my man parts. I don't like it. When no doctor sees down there, okay? It's not like, cause you know, down there is not that impressive. It's just, <laughs> you know, I just don't feel comfortable doing that, you know? So don't think that. If that's what you're thinking, stop it, okay? Grow up, don't be childish. He said I had a strain, right? Cause he talked to me a lot, he said a lot. So I'm pretty sure he said I had a strain. So I need to completely rest so that way it can completely get healed because he told me the more I keep trying to push myself at the gym I'm never gonna let it heal but when I do bicep curls I do it sitting down so that way I don't put too much stress around my pelvic area so that's what I do last time when I worked out with my boy Brian we were doing some standing easy bar curls and I was lifting like 70 pounds and I was going for like six reps and that to me that's really heavy so when I did it I felt a lot of pain down there, so I stopped. Any bicep movements and I'm lifting really he heavy, it starts hurting because, you know, I'm standing, I'm trying to keep my body stable. That's when it starts hurting. He told me to rest for two weeks. So no gym for two weeks. <laughs> I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna lose so much gains. Like two weeks without the gym? What am I going to do? Go home, watch Netflix? I could watch some Netflix because I'm watching the originals right now and it's a very good show and I've been behind it but I guess for those two weeks I can binge watch it and I can also watch 13 Reasons Why season two because I heard season two is pretty wild and people have been telling me to watch it I've just been so occupied you know so this could be a good thing no this is not a good thing okay I want to work out but I can't do it fuck I have to do it though. So I'll probably start doing this next week and this video will be up next week. This week is going to be my last week to work out and then next week I will rest. Like I said, today is June 20th and June 20th is on a Wednesday and tomorrow I PR. Tomorrow I try to hit 235 and you're watching this video, I'll be resting. So yeah, there's the update guys. Finally, after so damn long, I've been dealing with this pain. We finally know what's wrong with me. Thank you, building. Thank you, doctor because now I know what to do. So this is going to be the end of the video. I really hope you did enjoy it. If you did enjoy this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really does help the channel out. Like seriously, you know, when you hear YouTubers say that, it's because it's true. So hit the thumbs up so that way the video can go out there. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We hit 450 subscribers, guys. We hit 450. We're halfway to 500. Thank you so much for clicking that subscribe button. And I'll see you all in the next video.